This is a revision presentation on the natural rate of unemployment and what determines it. This presentation does assume knowledge of what the natural rate of unemployment is. But as a quick reminder, let us consider that natural rate of unemployment is the rate of unemployment the economy will head towards in the long run. Therefore, as we shall see is important, we ignore the cyclical factors. The Bank of England estimates this at about 5.5%, which seems to match up to where the economy was in terms of unemployment before the Great Recession. So what makes up this persistent unemployment in a country? Well, we sometimes describe the natural rate of unemployment as being made up of voluntary unemployment. This does not mean that the person is choosing to be unemployed, because of course, in our technical definition of unemployment, if you are not actively seeking work, you are not unemployed. Instead, you can think of the voluntary sense as meaning that there is something that someone could do, in theory, in order to obtain the job. So, for example, if we think of our structural unemployment, we could think of occupational mobility. This could be corrected, for example, by someone obtaining the skills necessary in order to move into a different job. Now, of course, there may be a role for government to play in this, for example, through provision of education and training. But the individual themselves, in theory, could do something, hence it being considered to be voluntary unemployment. Our geographical mobility as well, in theory, could be solved by the individual moving to where the jobs are available. But again, we would see a role for government in terms of providing better transport links or making it easier to move house in order for the people to get to where the jobs are available. There are other mobilities as well, perhaps to do with wage flexibility and contractual flexibility that also make up structural and therefore voluntary unemployment. These will then also constitute part of the natural rate of unemployment. We also consider frictional unemployment to make up part of the natural rate of unemployment as well. This is exactly the normal kind of unemployment we'd expect from someone moving between jobs. This could, for example, be to, due to difficulties with job search. What is then not in the natural rate of unemployment? Well, it's our involuntary unemployment that the unemployed individual couldn't even do anything about in theory. This is due to there being insufficient demand in the economy. It is cyclical unemployment caused by the stage of the economic cycle that the economy is in. Therefore, when we consider the natural rate of unemployment, we never consider aggregate demand to directly affect the natural rate of unemployment in a country. So returning to the situation in the UK, we have our ongoing level of 5.5% of our natural rate of unemployment. While the big chunk of unemployment that emerged after the Great Recession in 2009, being cyclical unemployment, is not considered to be part of the natural rate of unemployment.